today was pencil zincs, anchor windlass maintenance, painting, and some corrosion prevention. Okay, we'll try to do the the difficult one first, which is this guy right here. He's got some salt around him. Pull him out, take a look at it. Of course, we have the other one over here. We'll take a look at those. Old ones are out. This was the port. This one's the starboard. The starboard one actually came loose again. You know, I showed how you just have to screw it on just a little bit and then wiggle it and then yank it out so that works for that new ones are in we're good to go there let's do the heat exchangers let's see how this one's doing to go uh, check for leaks and this was the zinc that I had installed into the uh, oil coolers and when I bought them I noticed you know they were a little bit thinner a little bit longer but uh, it looked like the caps were the same but they are not the same <laughs> I don't know what the hell this thing is but it is not a uh, what do they call that three eighths okay the uh, other oil cooler zincs are in and um, no leaks, so that's good. I just ran the engines and they're, they're fine. Where the other ones were leaking like a sieve. Log book, book entry, maintenance tab. Try not to look at all the money you spent on your boat. Ugh. What's today? February. I'm gonna move on to doing a little, uh, trying to touch up this paint myself. We're gonna, I'm gonna sand today with the Orville sander, see if I can get a somewhat smooth surface, and get some primer on it. And uh, I bought some uh, spray that might be close to the color, but uh, I might test that too and see how close it is. Okay, I've got a little uh, 120 here. It's actually drywall sandpaper but it's really knocking this uh, paint down really good. So I'm trying to get it so there's no lip in between the metal and the paint. And uh, I tried some 220 to start off with, but that didn't really do anything. But this drywall sandpaper is just taking it right down. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this little rectangle with some primer. And then uh, I don't have, I need to cut this stuff away, but I don't have a good razor blade. So I'm um, thinking maybe I should go get a good razor blade first. I've searched all over this boat. I have no new razor blades or box cutting blades. So Home Depot, here I come. So the primer looks pretty good. Um, the top coat that I bought is a little off coat color, so I'm going to try to get one that's a bit closer before I finish this up. And then, uh, you know, I'll tackle these next time I'm down. So, I'm making progress. 
Uh, another job uh, today is giving the uh, windlass a little bit of love. Um, it was slipping a little bit. These are the friction, friction discs. There's one here and then there's one right here. And you can see it's got a little grease on it. So um, need to uh, get that grease off of there on both sides of it. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize on the shaft here. Uh, just to keep it from uh, holding on to anything and um, then put it all back together. It really doesn't need much more than that. It's been in, it's in really good shape. So The other thing I do is uh, check the uh, electrical connections underneath uh, on the windlass itself. Just make sure no water is getting in. Through the storm Don't you know on these things once you clean them up no grease no nothing there's two of these things and uh, one's already on we're gonna put a little grease um, on the uh, hub right here and that's about it we don't need to put anything more grease wise on there um, I was <laughs> I was going to put some anti-seize in there, but the guy, rightly so, said, hey, don't do that. Use marine grease. It's waterproof, and uh, you don't want graphite stains anywhere on your boat. But it's a really bad thing, so I have to go get some marine grease because, uh, again, I looked. I don't have any. Okay, I'm about ready to put this thing back together. Um, again, no grease. The only place I'm going to put grease is right in here. It's just that's the only uh, area that really needs it. I don't need to coat this whole thing with grease because when I put it in here, the area that is going to get it is uh, going to mate up with that surface. So that's good. So let's do it. Just about do it. Being real careful not to get this stuff anywhere near those plates or that surface. Much better. Let's do hickey here. That's going to lock our windlass down some at least. Again, that, that thing doesn't have to be really tight. It's just going to rotate with the rest of the capstan. There we go. It's nice and tight. Look at that chain links here. They're, uh, they're not really bad. I regalvanized this whole entire chain. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe 10 years ago and uh, it's been pretty good so far doing a little bit of 
inspection here. See what we got going on. See if there's any major corrosion. I can't really tell because the the way the camera's angled. So it doesn't look too bad down there. I think it'll be fine for a little while. The other thing I got to do is uh, the roller uh, anchor roller uh, in the front is it's okay, but. Uh, Maybe need to get a new one. I need to measure it to see if it's a three inch or a four inch. Yeah, these things are pretty standard um, as far as dimensions are concerned. This is three and a half inches wide. The roller itself is uh, three inches. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get that on there. It's kind of hard to do with the uh, thing, but with the eye, it's, it's definitely three inches. So that's a three inch roller by three and a half. Now, I was just at uh, West Marine looking at these things. And guess how much they wanted for that piece of plastic? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they wanted $49 for it. Okay, there you have it. All back together. The uh, chain guard is on. And uh, those bolts that hold that thing on, or the derailer or whatever, um, you put a little 4200 on those things. Just to seal them up, they don't really need it, but uh, you know, everywhere we can keep water from going in, might as well do it.